Good morning, Margaret Humilly here. Welcome to my podcast of the hymn book series, Savior of the World, Abba Father. Um, we are going to sing the song, Destiny. And um, we begin with um, a traditional song. This is a Kyrie uh, that I used to hear in my childhood. And I loved it so much. And so we're going to sing it and and also the chorus of the Gloria that accompanied it. Mercy, mercy, have mercy. Mercy, mercy, O Lord. Mercy, mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy. Mercy, mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy. Mercy, mercy, have mercy. Mercy, mercy, O Christ. Mercy, mercy on us, O Christ, have mercy. Mercy, mercy on us, O Christ, have mercy. Mercy, mercy, have mercy. Mercy, mercy, O Lord. Mercy, mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy. Mercy, mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy. Glory to God on high and on earth. Peace to God's friends. Glory. Glory to God on high and on earth. Peace to God's friends. Glory. Glory to God on high. Glory to God on high. Glory to God on high. Glory. Glory to God on high. Glory to God on high. Glory to God on high. Glory. Glory to God on high and on earth. Peace to God's friends. Glory. And so uh, let us, we are going to make a prayer, the benediction too of the resurrection. And uh, we pray, so we say, uh, the God, uh, Peter speaks, the God of our. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, and the God of our fathers has glorified his son Jesus and has raised him up from the dead, uh, whereof, <coughs> whereof we are witnesses. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, as touching that the, uh, the dead that are raised, says the Lord, haven't you read? Haven't you heard what was spoken to you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Uh, God is the God of the living, and not of the dead. Uh, God is the God of the living, for all live unto him. Hallelujah. Um, uh, Paul, uh, uh, remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel hallelujah the gospel of God concerning his son Jesus Christ our Lord who was made of the seed of David according to the flesh and declared to be the son of God with power according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead uh, by whom also we have uh, received grace and apostleship uh, uh, for the obedience to the faith among all the nations 
among whom also you are the called of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Paul speaking in Antioch, he said, Of David's seed, God has raised up a Savior unto Israel, Jesus. And um, we bring you glad tidings that the promise that was made to the fathers, God has fulfilled the same to us, the children, in that he has raised up Christ from the dead, as it is written in the second Psalms, Thou art my son, this day I have begotten you. Hallelujah. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. He who believes in me, even though he were dead, yet shall he live. And he that lives and believes in me shall never die. Hallelujah. Rejoice heaven and earth, exalt all of creation, for the Lord is risen indeed, hallelujah. Peter speaks, repent you therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come in from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send you Jesus, who before was preached unto you whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things as spoken by God um, through the mouth of all his holy prophets who have been since the world began. Unto you, God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you in turning every one of you from, uh, from your iniquities in turning away every one of you from your iniquities. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Blessed be, blessed are you, O God, and, our, and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, our Father, who have saved us and have called us with a holy calling, <clears throat> not according to our works, but according to your own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ before the world began, but now is made manifest <coughs> by <coughs> excuse me, by the appearing of our Savior Jesus Christ, who has abolished death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. To the same Jesus, the Christ of God, our Lord, your Son. Through this same uh, Jesus, your Son, the Christ of God, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Now uh, we, we say destiny, the song destiny. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we begin with conformed. For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, then he, them he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And whom he... So Christ Jesus is the firstborn uh, among many brethren, among crea uh, of creation and from the dead, he is the one who brought uh, life and immortality to light through the gospel, and he brought the new creation and birthed it into God, and so all things are made new of a father. Then, moreover, whom he... <coughs> Whom he predestinated, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. Hallelujah. And so also he says, uh, blessings, we are going to read the account from our Ephesians chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, 
according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love so father has chosen us in christ even before the world was made because we were we are in the father and um, and in bringing about the creation father also gave um, the creation to the son and in giving the creation to the son uh, the son became he received also the title of uh, the christ because he is the one in whom uh, the creation manifests he is the one to whom the creation uh, was given so in giving creation the goodness of god of the father to the son the son became the christ of god by virtue of uh, receiving the creation of god the goodness of god and so we were chosen in christ even before the world began and also having uh, predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ unto himself according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he has made us accepted in the beloved and when we have redemption through his blood a forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace which he has abounded to us, us in all wisdom and prudence, having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure which he purposed in himself. And so uh, this is a celebration of the blessing. God has revealed this um, the, the mystery, the knowledge of God, he has revealed it to Paul the Apostle. And so in this first chapter of Epistles and even in the whole book of Epistles, uh, Paul is unveiling um, the mystery of God, the knowledge of God, and it is wonderful past finding out. And we are perplexed by the love uh, of the Father that he has chosen us even before uh, we were we were manifested in this world for we were in him and he gave us to Christ so that we manifested in Christ and so and Christ had to be born so that we may also receive the the fullness of of, of the Godhead in him and so Christ as uh, Dr. Sean would say is uh, the one, the institution that uh, has made God shareable with uh, creation and humanity. God has shared himself with us through Jesus, the Christ of God. And so this is the fullness of uh, creation that we have received in Jesus, the, the one, uh, the Christ of God who brought the pleroma. <laughs> of the son of the uh, of god to the creation so he has made known unto us the mystery of his will according to the good pleasure of his will which he has purposed in himself that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might um, reconcile all things in christ in one in christ uh, of things in heaven and of things in earth even in him in whom also we have obtained an inheritance according to the to the good pleasure to the purpose of him that works all things after the counsel of his own will so that we should be the praise of his glory of the glory of his grace who first trusted in Christ, um, in whom also uh, we believe, we trusted. After that, we heard the word of, uh, of uh, faith, that is the gospel of our salvation. In whom also, after we believed, we were sealed by that Holy Spirit of promise, 
who is the Arabon, uh, the earnest of our inheritance, until the redemption of the purchased possession, until the praise of his glory. Hallelujah. So uh, that is it. Um, he has sealed us with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the, the Christ in us. After the Lord Jesus had come, was in, he was incarnate and he remains incarnate. Uh, but he has ascended into heaven. And now he has given us the, the promise of the Father, even the Holy Spirit, with the gospel of grace, uh, so that we may know uh, God, the Father, and Jesus Christ, uh, whom he has sent through the gospel. And it is the Holy Spirit that reveals um, Christ in us, and he dwells in us. He is the indwelling Holy Spirit, the communion of the Holy Spirit, by whom we have uh, the Father, the Son, and uh, the Holy Spirit Himself with us. Um, he dwells in us, Christ in us, the whole, the hope of glory. And though we do not yet, um, we do not see Him, the earnest of the Spirit is in us, and we rejoice <coughs> with joy unspeakable and full of glory receiving uh, the salvation, the end of our faith, even the salvation of our soul. And so the, uh, Jesus, were, he was incarnate, and he, the events of the incarnation, according to the perspective of God, it happened in the fullness of times, but according to our perspective, it is in history. And so um, he brought the fullness of God to humanity, because humanity was a shadow of itself and until the fullness came in Christ Jesus our Lord and so he uh, rose from the dead bringing um, bringing forth birthing the new creation in God and he ascended into heaven and he seated at the father's right hand and father has uh, having he has received Christ has received the Holy Spirit on behalf of creation and he has shed for this uh, which we now see and hear. He has received the Holy Spirit from the Father. He is the Son of God, the only begotten of the Father and the Holy Spirit is his Spirit. But he received the Holy Spirit um, as for on behalf of creation so that also all creation may be transformed for he is the Creator ever blessed. The one who renews the face of the earth and who um, makes all things new even the spirit of the father through jesus the christ of god we have received him the communion of the holy spirit by whom uh, who cries in our hearts our father and by whom also we are joined to the lord and one spirit and so this is uh, the revelation of the of the christ of god uh, and we're going to sing the song uh, Destiny, uh, which is um, a song, a love song to the Father, to our loved ones, to Christ and the Father singing to us, his beloved, and, um, and also it is um, a love song. Oh, It is true, destiny does. 
us exist. You're the one my heart's been yearning for. Always it is true. I can see it in your eyes. You love me. Yes, you love me. I love you. It is true, destiny does exist. You're the one I've been waiting for my whole, whole life. It is true, I can see it in your eyes. You're the one for me. You make me complete. It is true. Destiny does exist. You're the one my heart's been yearning for. Always it is true. I can see it in your eyes. You love me. Yes, you love me. I love you. 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 So uh, this is a song, Destiny, and this week we're going to release uh, the book uh, Pleroma, Other Dimensions Pleroma, Pleroma, which is the, the last of the Another Dimension, Other Dimension series, and it speaks of the fullness of the sun that the city of Nutra has attained, uh, the affection, uh, the fullness of uh, what uh, a Captain Neutra, the first Captain Neutra, Aeon the Gold, and the Captain Captain Universe have wanted for the city, it has also it saw its fulfillment in the day of uh, Stephen Wayne, Captain Neutra, um, the present Captain Neutra, the Pleroma came, and the people knew themselves as uh, the other, and no man hurt another. For they justified uh, the other as they would justify self, and there was no misunderstanding or strife. For the people were zealous for their for their neighbors as they were zealous for themselves, um, and so no, there was no hurt, and the creation also was beautified. Thank you. Well, blessed with all blessings, singing the Lord, changing the world. All things are become new. Behold, I make all things new, says the Lord. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.